over the weekend I, I was asked if um if I knew how to reset on Windows local password when you don't know what it is. I do. Let's go through it. So we're going to use something called Hiran's Boot CD. I have already done my USB for it, but I'll show you how it is to set up. It's nice and easy. So I'll use something called Rufus. Here we go. So this is my desktop. I can go down. I've got the latest version of Rufus there. Run as administrator. Make sure it's the right disk. It's the only removable disk. Select your ISO. Now, yeah, I've got a few ISOs there. So the one I want for this is this one here. Now, to get this, just do a Google search for Hiran's Boot CD. Download. And click on the link here. That will download it. Obviously, I've already got it, so I don't need to download it. I'm going to take a minute or two. It's 3 gig. It's not massive. Here's your MD5 or your hash if you want to check that it's a legitimate copy. Once you've got it and it's downloaded, use the, the options that suit your system. So if you're running a, a UEFI in non-CSM, so just pure UEFI, that's the options you would choose. If you're using a legacy BIOS or you're using UEFI in CSM mode, choose MBR and choose BIOS and then start. So for my system, it will be UEFI non-CSM and just start it. That will take a few minutes. Let that build itself. Take a few minutes. As I said, I've got my USB stick already built. So what can I do about this then? Well, I can't get in because I've forgotten the password. Now you can do a reset here if you've got your USB, but we're not going to do it that way. So we're going to pop in our Hiran's boot CD and go through it. So let's reboot this machine. Here we go. So choose the choose the option that's right for you. So in my case, it'll be the UEFI Kingston Data Traveler. Never mind. Right. So it's loaded up the uh, ISO, and I, as far as I'm aware, Hiran's boot CD is based on Windows 11, so it should be nice and modern. And there should be an absolute ton of features on this disc. I haven't used this in a long time, but we'll, we'll see what's on there. This is one of the tools that we used to use in my professional role. Although, didn't use it extensively. Mainly what I used it for was um, cleaning up hard drives or SSDs. Not anymore. Okay. So let's see what we got. And that's the one we want. NT password. So here we go. And there's my account. And we can change the password. We're going to just change it to something simple. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Save changes and it's done. Now you'll also find that you can do anything with any of these so you can unlock the administrator if you want and set a password because Windows for possibly a good reason who knows they uh, disabled the administrator account which is fine we don't need it really so there we go that's that done what else is on here that's good easy BCD now easy BCD allows you to edit the boot environment so if you've screwed up your UEFI, this may actually come in handy because I intend to put FreeBSD and Windows alongside each other on the same computer and do a, a dual boot type thing. That might come in handy. Data recovery, defragging. Do people still defrag these days? That's even got putty on it, that's pretty good. Tree size. It's got Rufus on it. I wonder what version that is. 4.4. That's not that far out of date either. So yeah, it's got a lot of stuff. 
Quite interested to see how it's laid out the discs in this machine. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, so let's reboot this and uh, see if that reset password is now reset. There we go. I'm going to pull out that USB. That can go away for now. Okay, my Windows 10. One, two, three, four, five, six. Are we in? We're in. It was as simple as that. Yeah, uh huh. There we go. Couldn't have been more simple. Well, it could have been. It could be as straightforward as it is on BSDs. Reboot into single user mode. You get a, a read only file system, mount it as read write, change password, reboot. That's pretty simple. No external tools needed. Would be nice if uh, Windows went that route, but it hasn't. So there we go. I, I decided to make this video. I don't really know why. Um, possibly because I was asked about it over the weekend. But there we go. My first foray into Windows videos. I do expect to do more. Like I said, I'm going to do a, a FreeBSD and Windows 11 dual boot. That'll be interesting. And we'll see how we go with that one. But for now, don't forget to leave a comment share like subscribe if, if you're that way inclined does all help the channel grow don't forget the discord server links in the description and i'll see you in the next video toodles